Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to Ehe, the reason you see me. I, I needed like some clarification because this is outside wow. my wheelhouse. Okay, I'm, I'm talking about Big Meech. And um, you have to, because I'm, I'm actually listening to your audio on Clubhouse, having you explain it. I think I kind of get it. You're, I think you and a lot of people have said that there might have been cooperation through a third party, which that's the first time I've ever heard. Yeah, and Tammy, Tammy, the Tammy Coward bitch, yeah. Okay. That was Blue Da Vinci broad at first. You know that, right? Really? Yeah, that was his broad, right? So, um, L L here's the thing. Okay, let me, let me look. Let oh, okay, me, break it up, please. Let me, let me break it up. Okay. Big means just parole, right? Yes. And he paroled to Fort Lauderdale to his son's little niece, to his baby mom. Wow. Wow, hey guys, listen man, just tapping in, man. Um man, Big Meech is home. Uh there's a lot of different things coming out. People are talking. Um, so I ran up on this interview with DJ Academics where I guess Wag One Hundred called in and he's explaining how these, you know, they they looking at his time. They're basically saying he should have got out this, you know, in this amount of time, but he ended up getting out like early, way early, and it's just I'm trying to understand like the how they get the specifics in the he told it or and, and and to be honest with you, I'm trying to just figure this out because while I'm listening to it, I'm just you know like I said, all the information not there. It's kind of sporadic, but I know somebody who who watches and listens as well, man. My guy OG Pyru is in the building, man. Ayatollah Mar, what's going on, man? What's happening? What's happening? Well, man, we 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 got we got a, a federal agent back. He's uh, uh, chiming in on some shit that he don't know what he's talking about again, huh? Oh, <laughs> listen, man. When I heard Acad DJ Academic and this Wag One Hundred uh, deal, I was like, because I've really been trying to figure out. Like they say, me he went, uh, he probably had a thirty year sentence, but he ends up doing they I think twenty a little over twenty years. They're saying he's gotten out early. Um, make it make sense for me, OG. What am I missing here? I'm trying to understand it, and I really don't know, but I just hear a lot of people saying he talked and all kind of stuff. Give me what you think about this. And, uh, and, and You know, you got all these suckers coming in on the bandwagon, like, uh, uh, like I say, federal agent back, Lil Yosemite Sam, Wack 100, giving his uh, moron... Uh, suggestions on what happened and what a third party is and how this happened and and none of that he's talking about is it even the boy cuff that's talking about that he made me uh 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 meach rich and he gave him put the first million dollars in his hand and he did so if dude was all of that he say he was and he was transported and that big with bmf why wasn't he indicted with the 189 people that were indicted in 2005? Wow. Wow. So why did they wait until 2016 to get him? So he said that he spent $250,000 for the movie BMF and the broad Tammy Count. So if you were supposed to be talking about a movie, how would you get a dope charge and a murder charge? What that got to do with Meech? Wow. Wow. So no. you got Yosemite Sam talking about an arena so when you you can be a third party defendant because you're head of the organization. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Just like if if, if me and you were associated in, in, in the podcast and you get busted on conspiracy to podcast with Russia, right? Yeah. And I was there with you and I said, Well, I made your show and this and but I wouldn't bust it with you. So now I get busted five years later, and they associate me with boss talk, right? Yeah. So in your, it's a third party conspiracy because you were head of the the podcast that I was involved in, but you never talked on me. You never said anything, and 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 Cuff can never say that uh, Meech ever said anything. Even the broad Tammy, he say himself that she had sex with a federal agent, and it knocked the case out. So he got his own case, got arrested, and they're trying to make somebody else the fall guy. Wow. What? Well, I... They're saying Meech is a snitch. What did Cuff, Cuff, do you realize you don't get no 27 years for a, a, a contract murder or a dope case? 
So if you just got 27 years in the federal in the federal jurisdiction, if you take a deal, it's called taking responsibility. You have to admit your responsibility in everything that you did. So the same thing that happened with gangster gangster Terrence Williams, you ha- he said he talked about dead people. So who did Cuff talk about to get 27 years? Wow. I want to ask you, like, you, you also hear, like, I heard him talking, kind of talking down on LeBron because LeBron said, you know, pretty much that, you know, uh, he was happy Meech was out or, you know, glad to see you home or, you know, something positive. But they, they're turning it into a negative for his career. Like, is that, I mean, I heard, I, I was hearing academic and, and, and white kind of. He's, he's the whole say, whoa, whoa, say that again? What, what did you say? Say that again? I said, I didn't hear you. What did you just say? No, I was saying that this 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 guy, Wack, he like Vanna White. He's on jumping on every white podcast he can. He ain't a manager no more. He ain't in the rap industry. So he whoring around. And now you're talking about what LeBron James said. Well, that man made a movie. He's he's some, he's an element. You're not an element. So what did Le- LeBron happy out? So man, anybody's happy that somebody's out. Meech is an element. He done a lot of, oh, well, he sold dope because he gave a couple of people. Well, you write it on some people, so why ain't nobody celebrating you? Wow. Black 100, that is. Yeah, so, I, I, I just... You got these dudes with spoiled grapes trying because they can't get in. They saying anything. That's, they're doing the Charleston White shock job. Now you trying to attack LeBron's to get views and likes. Wow. You still ain't going to grow. You still going to be full for the 11. It's not going to improve <laughs> your height, bro. <laughs> so, so when you when you look at just the way that they're they're trying to depict a uh, big leech as a, as a as a snitch when you look at all of these different people that's coming in saying what they're saying, the ones that you do hear from. Like I said, I only heard it on a few podcasts, but I've heard it. Yeah, I heard it before DJ Academics actually spoke on it. But it's getting more and more lit, uh, 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 clear that they're trying to make him out to be one that spoke or told in order to be released. And, and can, what, do, what, what do you no, say to that? Okay, nobody produced no paperwork that he got on the stand on anybody that I know of. Okay. And I... I testified to this. When I caught my case in Youth Authority, I went to trial and made Woodrow Warren, Big Bub from Grape Street, made him get on the stand and testify against me and a stab it. Mm. That makes that makes a man a snitch if he gets on the stand and testifies and gets you put in prison. That's a wrap. Wow. Now, because I if I take a deal, I told on myself. So, am I right, Joe? Wow, man, man, yeah, you no, know, you know that it's just crazy how when it, it's like here lately, not anybody that comes home or and they're saying he'll be okay because the snitches is winning and all that. But I, I, I think that I want to see him get back and do some of the things that you know help the community. They, they talk about how he hurt the community, but he helped a lot of people as well. You know, the, a, lot a, a lot of people were, were able to get jobs and stuff through him as well. That was a lot of people hurt, but there a lot of people helped as well. One thing about it, if he was that bad a guy, wouldn't that many celebrities be trying to get at him? That's real. That's real. A lot of people trying to reach out to him, show him love. A lot of them used his name while they was, while he was gone. A lot of them, uh, I mean, uh, Jeezy was one that, uh, you know, he spoke on his name, was supposed to be a part of the clique. Uh, uh, it's a bunch of them. Uh, Rick Ross has come out. Uh, Rose saying that he, you know, uh, man, he happy at home. I, I'm at, I'm happy at home. Anytime somebody get out of it, if you've been in there, you you're gonna be happy that people are home well, because you know I ain't got a dog in that fight, so I don't know whether I'm happy or not. Whatever he do, when he eat, I don't shit. So whatever he is, is good for him. Well, well, I get it, but anybody that's locked up in that cage, man, I, I want to see him come home. That 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 truly ain't really because a lot of these old trumped up charges and the way they play the game when it comes to the legal system, I just don't see that as something that we can call reputable when it comes down to our people being locked up under this uh, judicial system. I, I, I'll tell you a a a, a, stead, a a steadfast fact. I can I will bet a dollar to dog shit. Uh, uh, e. What's that? 
any party meets you to whack 100 won't be invited. <laughs> Wait a minute, man. Check it, man. Thank you, OG, man, for calling in, man. Appreciate the love, man. Hey, man, get in the comments. Do you guys think Big Meets uh, got out early because he snitched, as uh, people are saying? Or do you feel like, hey, man, you know, uh, time wait it's time out he did his time and he home now let us know what you think this has been another great segment of boss talk 101 what a boss is talk this is boss talk 101 review man yeah we on boss talk tv shout out to e he the reason you see me